Superbase Storage allows you to store user-generated files such as images or videos. Today, we're going to look at how you can set up Superbase Storage and upload and download a file from your dashboard. From your Superbase dashboard, you can head to Storage by clicking the Storage menu icon. This is where we would see the uploaded files if there are any, but before we can get started with uploading, we have to set up our storage bucket. Let's create our first storage bucket by clicking the green Create a new bucket button. We can give our bucket whatever name we like, so let's name it Profiles. We can also toggle the switch to change whether we want to make this bucket public or not. Files stored in a public bucket will be accessible with a simple URL by anyone, whereas files stored in a private bucket will require either the user to be signed in with the appropriate permissions or have a signed URL to be accessed. We'll go into securities and permissions around Superbase Storage in a later episode, but for now, let's make it public and hit the Create Bucket button. We can click the bucket name to view the contents of the bucket. In a bucket, you can have folders for organizing your files. Let's create an admin folder for example. Folders can be nested as well. We can drag and drop files into our bucket to upload them directly from our dashboard. Once the file is uploaded, we can download the file from the dot menu on the file. We can also get a URL to access the file from the same menu. And that is how you can set up Superbase Storage. In the future episode, we'll look at how you can interact with Superbase Storage from our client libraries. Head over to superbase.com to learn more about storage and a whole lot more about Superbase.